Hi everyone, I hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just going on to Bitcoin, big Coins Kid Group. So Bitcoin's putting an amazing bullish signal right there that not a lot of people are looking at right now. And if you remember back way back in April last year, we got all this support. And we start to fall into the Gaussian. We've got the median line of the Gaussian that says resistance. And I did say to you that once we fall out of that, history tells us that we look at capitulation or some kind of big major dump. And we did get that within a few weeks to a couple of months. We was all the way down there. Okay, on the specific day as well, we was targeting that as a specific time frame for Bitcoin for the bottom to be in. And I think personally looking at it, we've got this sort of beautiful rounded bottom just there. And then this here can be deemed as some kind of black swan. Just like this was here, this is some kind of capitulation, push down, black swan, swift recovery through the Gaussian. Okay, that was the corona dump in 2020. And personally, I think we've got a very similar situation here. I think that that is a true data bottom. Okay, and going forward, this is why Bitcoin is seeing such a swift recovery. Now, I completely understand why people are still bearish, but the charts are not bearish. This is the thing. I know the sentiment and, and the, the macro and things like that is quite bearish. But, you know, the charts are not bearish at the moment. They are, in actual fact, they're bullish because of things you're doing in the charts. And this is all I do to you, for you. I just, you know, relayed the data in the charts to tell you what I see. And it's up to you to interpret that information. So right now, just like we was expecting capitulation to the downside there, we're expecting capitulation to the upside here because you've closed back above the five-day Gaussian time frame, which is something I said to you at the time. Just here, we've got the 10 and 20 golden cross. Beautiful. Way back there in uh, January, it was. We, we, you know, brought that to attention. Fantastic pump off that. We ran into the resistance of the Gaussian, fell back to the support of the bottom of the Gaussian. We busted and moved through the median of the Gaussian. And right now we've closed above the top of the Gaussian. But equally inside of all of this, you know, upside, we've got golden crosses. We've got the 10 and 55 golden cross. We've got the 20 and the 55 golden cross as well, which is an amazing signal. These signals are like rocking all shit. I'm going to go through this with you in a moment. But right now, what we're doing on the five day Gaussian as well with DMAs is we are piercing them. So the projection is to the upside here until you start to lose all the support okay below so usually when we do bust a move above the Gaussian just like we bust a move above the bottom of the Gaussian we do come back to the bottom to back test for support so right now it wouldn't be out of the question for me to see a pullback into the top end of the Gaussian so immediately we can identify that support as being two five three eight seven that is an area if we do go for a big correction anytime soon because you know things can happen this is crypto welcome to crypto so volatile if we do have a big correction then that is a key area of interest for me to put some bids in you know it's equally this swing high and equally it's where the top end of the Gaussian is right there okay so this is a bullish statement from Bitcoin that can't be ignored just like we've got capitulation to the downside by closing below right now we're looking at projection to the upside because we're closing above it really is that simple so if we go back in time and we take a look at this you can clearly see here we come down we Bust and move through the Gaussian, got the close above, boom, see you later. In this instance, we didn't come back to the top end of the Gaussian immediately, okay, to back test of support. Just there, when we did break out after capitulation of the corona down there and the swift recovery, busting and move above all the Gaussian just there, just like we're doing just now. When the EMAs pierced it, we did eventually sort of top out and come back to the top end of the Gaussian to hold the support for the continuation. So, you know, if you do start to see Bitcoin come back down, you know, over the next few weeks, next few months, if it does come back down like this and starts to roll back into the Gaussian, then that will be an exit point for me. Okay, but at the minute, we have to keep projection to the upside. Not because I'm a perm bull, whatever perm bear, it's just technical analysis. It's just in the charts. I hope you understand that. Okay, so if we take a look at prior instances uh, to this particular signal that I'm looking at right now, which is effectively really bullish, just there, 2015, we bust and move above the Gaussian. We took out all the resistance. The EMAs pierced them as well. You can see immediately we pumped really high and then boom, we came back for support on the top end of the Gaussian. So we could be looking at a very similar situation for Bitcoin. Now, that was one instance where it did that and if we take a look down here again we did it we pierced the top end of the Gaussian we never looked back did we we didn't even back test the Gaussian in this instance so for me at the minute I just have to respect what the charts are doing okay it doesn't mean I'm a perm bull perm bear whatever it's just technical analysis and right now Bitcoin historically is doing what it's done before which has led to a massive impulsive move it never not has okay after being red you can clearly see here when we came down we never fell out of the Gaussian okay for, for us to go back up but right now if we do start to go and fall back into the Gaussian, that's bearish. So whenever we fall back into the Gaussian from this point, that's bearish. And that really is that simple, okay? Hope you understand the update. But so far, so good. Bitcoin's doing really, really well. But if we do fall back into the Gaussian, that will be my exit strategy from this point, okay? But right now, the support is the top end of the Gaussian, which currently sits at 25379. Will it be back tested? I don't know. No one knows. Anyone telling you that it is with 100% certainty is talking out the bum hole. Take care, everyone. Back to another update on Bitcoin. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Bye-bye.